up guys welcome so in this video we will talk about what we call fundamental analysis some something really basic you know something basic but this is what matter in trading it's to get the information and know what we are doing and again we can draw some lines okay we have a quick example on usd we can yeah if you want we can draw some lines some you know support resistance fvg what you want okay but again you are just missing most of the information because you know the market is not moving like that okay the liquidity is something important of course but what are the main drivers of the market why usd went down yesterday why nzd usd went down why iud usd went down why usd pair just trade like that i mean have been impacted by something and the thing is what is first it's easy to see as you can see we saw that usd strain a little bit euro gbb down iud nzd down why because this is risk on currency so it's about risk of um, context at this moment right now it's a bit different okay as you can see but it's happened tonight why the first thing it's easy is if we check the news we will see that okay some things happened yesterday we just have to go back it's really easy first if we go on the up us fx wrap Freeman was dead and no, no, no. we have our answer Middle Eastern escalation guys we have just a quick example here what happened in the Middle East what happened in Lebanon what Israel decide to do in Lebanon you know and yeah of course it's something bad for the market and what we call risk and currency just went down that's it and this is why fundamental analysis is really important because again again and again I can draw some lines on yeah, on the chart, I can do the same. Everyone can do it. Everyone. But look, why GBB is going up? Why the euro is going up? Why the IUD is going up? The NZD is going up? And what we call safe haven are going down. Why? It's easy. Look, we will go to now. I'm talking about now. Source in Israeli. Prime Minister Netanyahu says there is a green light for ceasefire in order to stop negotiation. Guys, you understand why fundamental analysis is really important? Because you have the proof here. Of course, we are talking about a geopolitical situation, you know, a kind of war, this kind of stuff. Okay, we are talking about ceasefire for now. This is good news. If it's good, what investor would do on the market? Risk more. They will risk more money. And if they risk more, which currency would be impacted with that? You have the answer. So again, you can trade then maybe, I don't know, GBBCA shape, this kind of stuff. Just imagine you, you want to go long because you saw on the news that it's going better. Okay, trade, take a trade. Take, uh, you know, take a trade because you know what's happening. Thanks to your fundamental analysis. You can draw as many lines as you want. You can use FVG, this kind of, you know, blind stuff, if you want. But you are just missing the big pole. And that's why fundamental, fundamental analysis, yeah, is really important. And the best way to do your fundamental analysis is with PMT. We already talked about it many times. But you have real-time news. You have the week ahead details for every event of the week. You know exactly what's happening. You have analysis each time. You know uh, the reaction of the market each time, you can say. And yeah, you have everything. You can read bank research. And yeah, this is another level of trading again. If you want to understand what Goldman Sachs is just telling you about the UST, okay, let's go. What are they talking about? About, yeah, the UST. Okay. Let's go. I want to read it. I want to understand if it's something significant for the market. Yes, no, no, yes. I want to understand everything. This is why fundamental analysis is again really, really important. And this should be your main focus. And then, if you have an ID, thanks to PMT, if you know which pair to trade, then, of course, use your technical analysis. Draw some lines, 
some support, resistance, um, you know, this kind of stuff, pattern, what you want, what you want, guys. But again, it's not about this kind of stuff. It's about fundamental analysis first. So this is why create and do your fundamental analysis with PNT is the best thing you can do. Of course, you can do it by going and investing or read some articles on Google, but this is not enough. This is what we call institutional data, okay? You have real-time news, you have bank research, you have session recap, all this kind of stuff allows you to be smart and to take smart position. Again, just look, you can create the template you want, you can have a chart, you can have the real-time news, the DMX, the seasonality, everything, every kind of, you know, uh, useful tool for real, and then trade. That's it. This is how you can just increase your fundamental analysis and be a smart trader. So I put every details to access to PMT in the description. And again, stop drawing line. Start to understand what's happening in the market, what the context is right now, and what what are the, you know, the main things for the market, what the market is focused on right now. This is really important. And thanks to it, you will be able to make money on the financial market. But there is no secret and this is not magic again. Thank you.